G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. Something exciting just got delivered today. I didn't think I was going to get it because it's it's getting pretty late. It's starting to get a bit dark. Um, but here are some subtropical, tropical plants that I've had delivered from Daly's Fruit Tree Nursery. There they are there. Now, Daly's Fruit Tree Nursery is in Kyogle in New South Wales. And they are awesome. They are the best, best online nursery in Australia. In fact, not just, not just online nursery, online shopping, I guess you could call it. The customer service, the way they package and deliver their items their website uh, they have a youtube channel a facebook page with so much interesting information i would highly recommend ordering all your plants from daily's fruit tree nursery um, pretty much i don't know 90% of my plants, that's my subtropical and tropicals, I've been getting from dailies. Um, they're amazing. Um, I will be planning a holiday up that way soon and I want to visit their nursery. Um, but yes, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Their plants always are so perfectly packaged and there's never any damage to the trees, unlike other nurseries that I've, I've um, bought from, online nurseries. But I would highly recommend. I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to go get a tripod. I'm going to show you what I do when I get these delivered. Just bear with me. All right, first thing is unwrapping these. You've got to be careful. You don't want to damage anything, so... You've got to be very, very careful. The first thing you've got to do is, is um, just pull these little tags out. It's like a cardboard box, folds in, holds the pots in. So the first thing we've got to do is pull all them out and then I'll cut the top. I'll cut the top off. Uh, they're just a tape. And then probably slowly, slowly cut down the side of the box, really carefully not to damage any plants. First thing you find at the top are some guidelines on what to do with your fruit trees once you get them delivered. I've never seen that. Just something as simple as this. I've never seen it in other nurseries that deliver to me. Fantastic. Just get out of the light. So the first thing you'll see is the way they wrap it up in this plastic bag here. This one, this one here, I've been hanging for this one. This is the Jabodi Carba, but it's the giant. This is an extremely rare Jabodi Carba. And I can't wait for that one. And then here I've bought the Brazilian cherry, um, which is a seedling here, and then around here we have the Panama berry. That is going to be an interesting one to grow, and right here we have a dragon fruit. This one, this variety is the purple haze. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. So I'm going to pause again. 
I'm going to unwrap it, all this and then I'm going to show you what the next stage is. So you can see here how they wrap these. It's black plastic and nothing falls out. Nothing. Alright, I'll just pause it again and I'll get back into unwrapping. Alright, there we are unwrapped. Okay, now the next process is because it's been lying down and the dirt's the soil's probably been uh, you know mixed up a bit the next the next step is you get a big bucket which i prepared earlier water and then you just put the whole lot in and you'll see it bubbling 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 still bubbling still bubbling everything still bubbling give it a couple of little squeezes make sure you don't drop my phone in the in the water alright once it stops bubbling take it out and that's it place that aside and we just repeat that with all of them see the bubbles the dragon fruit this one Brazilian cherry. I've got a Panama berry there. It's very, very tropical. E even this dragon fruit is very frost sensitive as well. They're going to be a challenge to grow down here in Melbourne. This is the uh, this is the Brazilian cherry. This one. So that's done. So it's just pretty much just getting all those dry areas like this one here has had a bit of it starts tipped out got loosened up a bit so I'll put that in here and again it'll just bubble and bubble and once it stops we're done oh that's heavy now yep so if you're not going to repot them straight away that's what you've got to do um, I'd even probably do it before you pot just to be on the safe side now being new young um, I've got a little tiny greenhouse here as you can see I've got I've got a couple I've got three in there at the moment and these little small ones will go around here and I've actually got a little heater behind here it's got a little bar heater well as in, as in a bar as you can see set on high and then I've got a little thermometer in here at the moment it's saying it's 15, 16, 17 degrees in there. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Oh, there we go. And um, I'll put them in there later tonight. But right now, I'm going to go in and have some dinner. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you later, bye.